Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, I know at times that you have been battling this feeling of being alone and of being unhappy with the way things are. See, even when people are around you, you can be lonely and only I can satisfy. But know that I will never leave you nor forsake you, my child. And you don't have to feel alone anymore. My grace is enough for you. And I will never allow you to go through any trial that I did not give you the wisdom and the grace enough to handle it, my child. See, I love you and care for you more than you could ever imagine. And I am not blind to your struggles that you have passed through or even deaf to your tears that you have shed. So no matter the storms that come your way, my child, continue to stand firm for I will reward you for your faithfulness. See how you respond to life's storms and challenges will not only determine your success, but it will also make the difference between giving the enemy legal right within your life to not giving the enemy any legal right. For he is always seeking to make his schemes and his devices play out within your life to see your downfall. Therefore, be sober and alert always, my child, for he prowls around like a roaring lion ready to devour. So you must stand strong in my might against all of his tactics and advances. Remember, when life gets too much for you to handle, my child, come to me with all of your cares and worries, as my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So you have no need to look unto his threats any longer, my child, for I have already overcome the enemy, and so shall you also overcome. Yes, for did I not warn you that troubled times would come within your life, but in me that you could have peace. So take heart today that I have already overcome this world and all the threats that this toothless lion has. He is always trying to whisper lies to you each day with the purpose to discourage you from the path that I have placed you upon. Yes, his plan is to bring confusion to your mind so that you become disorientated and even double-minded at times. He would like nothing better than to have your mind racing from one random thought to another, my child, to keep you confused in your calling and destiny. Yes, maybe you can relate to all of these tactics from the enemy within your life, for he has been working overtime, knowing that his time is short. Maybe you feel stuck. And though there have been certain a number of breaks within your life, the enemy still hinders your major breakthroughs and blessings. See, he is relentless in his attacks. And unless you renew your mind daily in my word, he will continue to try to stop you overcoming my child. So stand firm today and take back what the enemy has stolen from you, my child. For when you don't stand firm, the enemy will continue to take ground and he will send tormenting spirits to harass you when you give him legal right to do so. But you, my child, as a born-again believer, you have been given authority over these foul spirits and you need to exercise that authority of my word in action. I have given you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy so that nothing by any means will hurt you, my child. Remember, I am sovereign over the devil as he is on a leash like a dog but can only attack when he is given legal right to do so. I went around healing 
all who were sick and oppressed of the devil, my child. And I have given you that same authority to keep the enemy at bay. Remember, it is I who gives life and I am not the author of any sickness. So stay protected under my wings for there is healing in my wings. Be anxious for nothing today, for worry is a total waste of time, my child, and doesn't change anything around you. All it does is rob you of today's peace in me. It robs you of my joy. It robs you and keeps you very busy doing nothing, my child. So arise up in my name today and take authority over the dark thoughts and the overthinking and surrender it all to me. For my peace and calmness will fill your life and give you new purpose to live victorious, my child. Daily saturate yourself in my word and my presence, my child. Always believe that I am who I say I am, for there is power in my shed blood to heal and to deliver all who call upon my name. Drench yourself in praise and worship to me. Flood your life with my sweet aroma. Remember where my light is, darkness must always flee. I have great plans for you to prosper, my child, but you must claim your rightful inheritance. Therefore, exercise that authority. Exercise your right for what is rightfully yours. Know that I am with you. Know that I am for you. Therefore, be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Philippians 4, 6 and 7 says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Depression is when you don't really care about anything. Anxiety is when you care too much about everything and having both is even more disastrous. But let's look at this word stress. The dictionary definition of stress is physical, mental or emotional stress or tension. Now some stress is necessary and even good such as physical strain. We put on our muscles in order to make them stronger. But when we talk about stress here today, we are using usually referring to excessive or negative mental or emotional strain or tension. So while stress is not specifically mentioned in the Bible, Scripture does speak to things such as anxiety, worry and trouble, things that we often associate with stress and gives us clear answers on how we should deal with them. So everyone suffers with stress at one point or time or another in their life. But how we naturally deal with it depends in large part on who we are. For some, emotional stress causes physical illness. Others might become hyper productive. On the other hand, some people under stress shut down mentally and emotionally. And of course, there are a variety of other responses. So stress is a common human expression and particularly in a world where the demands for our time and attention, some are unending. Our jobs, for instance, our health, our family, our friends, and most importantly, ministry activities can over overwhelm us. The ultimate solution to stress is to surrender our lives to God and seek His wisdom regarding priorities as well as enabling to do the things to which He calls us. He also gives us enough. That's right. So we need not 
to be defeated by stress because his grace is sufficient. We might also find ourselves stressed when facing a hardship or trial. Now, James 1, 2 verse 4 says, Counsels, it says to us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So when we encounter hardship, we can succumb to stress or we can view it as a means by which God can strengthen our faith and mold our character. It can be like a challenge before us. So when we redirect our focus on God, we find comfort in our sorrows and strength to endure. No matter the type of stress in our lives, the starting point for dealing with it is Jesus Christ. Jesus offers us great encouragement. According to John 14 verse 1, let not your hearts be troubled troubled, believe in God and believe also in me. We desperately need him, Jesus Christ, in our lives. We need him because he is the only one who can give us the strength to cope with the troubles in our lives. Believing in him does not mean that we will have a trouble-free life. On the contrary, no, it will not feel overcome by stress in our lives because he is with us when he becomes our focus. It simply means that our life without Jesus Christ makes coping with stress an impossible and often debilitating task. And that's what we're seeing today. We're seeing so many mental health issues today. And it's usually started by stress, anxiety, fear, depression, and so forth. So believing leads to trust. Let's look at this. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 tells us this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths. Leaning on our own understanding. That's right. Often means adopting the world's ways of relieving stress. Like many people, they like to drink alcohol or drugs or they run to mindless entertainment, sex or whatever those things are. Instead, we are to trust his word as our ultimate guide to stress and reduce life. David says this, according to Psalm 34 verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all of my fears. David knew that by seeking the Lord and sharing his troubles with him, that perhaps he would find favor with him. The Lord in turn answered him and calmed him down. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants to calm you down also. No matter where you are today, God wants to bring healing. God wants to bring deliverance. God wants to equip you, to mature you, that you may be able to deal with the challenges of stress that you will face in this modern times. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we pray in the name of Jesus that we shall be delivered from the spirit of stress, worry, fear, anxiety, panic attacks and torment. We bind the strong man of stress, of fear, and cast him out of our life. We trust by faith that the Lord has given his angels charge over us to deliver us in all our ways. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High is sheltered under his wings and delivered from stress, worry, fear, anxiety, hypertension, and torment. Yes, Father, Father who lives and rules in heaven, let your kingdom come to earth and be established through us. There is no stress, worry, fear, or no anxiety, and no panic attack in heaven. Establish your kingdom in our hearts that we may walk in peace, in confidence, and in strength. Open the eyes of our heart, Lord, to see all that you have for us. Show us how we have already been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Help us to receive all that you have for us. Angels are all around us, ministering 
ministering to us. They will guide us according to your word and your command. You will not let us and our foot stumble. Lord, we trust in you, Father, and in you alone. We are your children and you are our Father. Lord, that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and that we are at rest in your arms. Father, we look to you as our source of hope and peace that you will cover us with your wings and you are constantly fighting for us. Show us that we need not fight but that we can trust and rest in you and rest in the promises of your protection. There is no need for us to stress or worry. You will provide everything we need for life, for peace and for protection. Today, Lord, that we will not be anxious about anything any longer, but we will pray to you about everything, casting our cares upon you because you care for us and that you will guide us along the best pathway for our lives. Lord, you will advise us and counsel us and you will never leave us alone. You are always with us, always sin cannot separate us any longer because in Christ you remember our sins no more. Thank you, Father, that you have begun a good work in us and that you will be faithful to complete it in us. We will listen with all of our hearts that for you are constantly speaking peace over us. You have the words of life. Father, we live today because of your son that was sent to die for us. We put our trust in you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We pray right now that every chain, every shackle be broken over our lives today. That every fear, every stress, every mental health issue be healed under the blood. That the minds may be healed. That the stress may be healed. Bring our minds back to a sound mind. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. We thank you that your word goes forth and brings healing in its wings right now. Lord, I thank you that there are healing in your wings and we can trust, we can embrace you and that you will forgive us of all of our faults and our failings today. We bless your holy name in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also hit that notification button if you're not receiving the notifications. I encourage you to follow us on our official Facebook page, our Instagram page, and also go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Don't forget, Precious Saints, tomorrow starts the three-day fasting of opening our spiritual eyes. God wants to do something great in your life, precious saints, and you must participate. Don't just anticipate, but come and participate. Be part of it. Whatever level that you want to be part of, please do click onto the link if you have not seen the program. It's very imperative that you follow the program because it's all there for you and it's very detailed. It keeps you busy and then also that you'll be able to listen uh, also to the uploads as we go to the prayer mountain to pray for you, to intercede on your behalf, to see God's blessings being brought about into your life. So I encourage you to get on board. Let's get started. Let's do it. Have a blessed day today. Know that God is for you. He's not against you. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.